In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You're very welcome to the Brendan Option, coming to you courtesy of Immaculata Productions. I'm Father Brendan Kilcoyne. If you like what we do, would you consider hitting the subscribe button now? Uh, if you can spare a few quid, or as the Americans say, a few bucks, you might send them to us via Patreon or PayPal. If you have time in your devotions, would you please remember us in your prayers? And if you have a constructive comment to make, you, you would be so welcome to do so in the comment box. I was asked lately, you know, why Judas? You know, what's that about? Why did, why did Christ have to have a Judas? To which my answer is another question. Well, would we not feel cheated if he hadn't a Judas? I mean, if you don't have that coming of age experience, that truly exquisite sensation that comes from the feeling of a nice bit of tempered steel being slid into your abdomen from the back between two ribs and even twisted slightly, I know speaking as an Irishman, you simply wouldn't have the full culture, Irish cultural heritage. But would you have the human experience? It's in us. There's a kink in us. There's a twist in us. We're traitors. We're traitors. Uh, backstabbers. Gossips. Pope Francis is always giving out about it. A friend of mine has a theory that the reason Pope Francis uh, eats in the in the the restaurant in the in the in the dining room in um, in Santa Marta, uh, it's thought it's because it's a Jesuit thing or something like that. He said no, he just wants to make sure that he's in the middle of a whole load of people and eating the same food as them, just in case they poison him. Well, it'd be an old Catholic trick be an old human trick as one character is it Harold Macmillan uh, says to Anthony Eden and don't ask me who the actors are but they're excellent they are excellent in the crown there is no fairness in politics none I would put it to you that betrayal is a part of human life. I would put it to you that Judas is a part of human nature. And if he weren't there, we'd have to put him there. Because it wouldn't be an authentic human experience. The incarnation would, in a sense, be incomplete if it were not exposed, as every mortal human is, to human malice, and malevolence. Now Peterson is particularly good on this stuff and he delves back into ancient mythology. It's the sheer power of human malevolence. I remember, uh, it must be about 14 years ago now. What is it? Uh, Jeepers, it's more. It's almost 20. I had an accident in the car. Uh, I won't say where it was, somewhere in County Galway. It was on a country back road. It was a nasty enough little accident. Now, I was lucky. Came out of it without, there was nobody else involved, and I came out of it without a scratch. The car was nicely done over. So I did what you do, made a phone call, put on the hazard lights, and because there was a bad bend just, before it, I went back to warn cars that were coming and waited for the truck to come from the garage to pick up my car. And a few people stopped to ask if everyone was all right, but I was very struck by one woman, a very respectably dressed woman. And I know for a fact that she was coming from the church. I know, I know that for a fact. It was a lovely summer's evening. And she rolled down the window and she said, is everyone okay? What happened? And, 
and and she said is anyone hurt and I said no thank God nobody is hurt and I remember the look of profound disappointment on her face she couldn't hide it it was like something out of a Martin McDonough play it was like looking down a bottomless well that you find by accident in a corner of a well-tended garden. She was disappointed nobody was dead or screaming in the wreckage with their limbs cut off. Now, I'm telling you, we're a funny crowd. Judas of course there was a Judas. If there wasn't a Judas, he'd have got a free pass. And he didn't come for a free pass. He came for the full experience. He got the luxury ticket. Yeah? The whole bit. Right to the end. And for that you have to have Judas. Let's be honest. I would put it to you that there aren't many people in this life who haven't had the experience of betrayal. And it is startling when it happens. You are literally looking down in astonishment at the handle of the knife sticking out of your stomach. It is astonishing when it happens. But it happens. People betray each other. There's, it's in us. It's in us. And God came to redeem that in us. That streak of evil from there, from the, the original fall. That kink, that break, that gap. Mm? Right through. A seam that runs right through. Jet black. Judas. Judas is one of our own. Yeah, we can't disown him. He is one of our own. You remember that film? Goodfellas. Fantastic gangster film. Do you remember it? Ray Liotta died lately. F wonderful actor. He played Henry Hill. Who, I think himself, Henry Hill, the original, not so much a gangster as a friend of gangsters. Uh, Henry Hill isn't that long dead, a few years, I think. And um, do you remember the scene where the police arrest him? Uh, he has just got into the car and next thing from behind him come these voices, freeze, uh, put down the, you know, don't effing move and all this kind of thing and really strong language and and the voiceover said that's when I knew there were cops he said the relief of it if they'd been wise guys I'd never have heard a thing yeah wise guys being gangsters other gangsters elsewhere he explains how it's always your friend who comes they always use somebody close to you. You have the same theme in The Irishman with the theory about the death of Jimmy Hoffa. Judas. Mm. I want you to get in touch with your little inner Judas. We'll call him Judas Og. Huh? Judas Og. Judasino. Yeah? And I want you to have a chat with him. Because if you don't know he's there, you haven't matured as a person. If you don't realise you have the capacity to betray. That you could be tempted to betray. And not just to betray a casual acquaintance, but to betray somebody quite close to you. One can only effectively betray those whom we know well. You must get close. Close, close, close. Yeah. goes on the whole time. It goes on the whole time. 
husbands come home as if butter wouldn't melt in their mouths and they're having an affair. It happens the whole time. Now, you can say to me, as some people are saying to me, you're too negative, you see the negative side. I actually have tremendous hope. But it is a theological virtue. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I have to put it to you that if you look at history and you look at human behaviour, you will struggle with hope. You will struggle. Not if you look at Christ. But then, it's not as if he didn't know Judas. <laughs> yeah, the man who dips his bread into the dish with me. Ah, uh, I bet he didn't just dip the bread. I bet he asked him, would you like a bite? A mm, little bit, tempt you? Mm. Don't ask me. Don't ask me again why was Judas there. What, what do you think Judas was there? <coughs> Judas. Go ask that. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.